Hello and very welcome. Today's episode is a new kickoff for a um, total new series where I'm yeah, talking and showcasing Reese bases and other like drum and bass related um, neurofunk uh, sound design. Um, and so I'm going to show uh, always one preset. Um, but not only the preset, um, I'm also going to, pr uh, pro uh, going to provide the whole um, project with also the whole processing <clears throat> and um, one drum example to give a little bit of context um, to the sound. So basically the sound I'm talking about is this. Let me quickly check my headphone. quite brutal reese and uh, and together with the drums it sounds like this so what do we have so first of all um, i chose the serum synth here it is just two d2 tuned saw waves and a little bit of filtering and compression hyperdimension a bit of reverb and filter um, also so this is not too special <laughs> But then I put that into an instrument layer and added a little bit of white noise uh, from the polygrid. Um, the reason why I didn't do that um, directly in Zerum is that I uh, can create the noise. It's, you can see it's just white noise um, and feed it in uh, at the same time. But I can also um, mix um, where exactly in the frequency bandwidth I want to mix the white noise into. So that's the reason why it's basically done in an instrument layer. And I also can, of course, change the volume. So, and then what I've done then, I uh, here you can. I uh, know oh I didn't do that here. Okay. Anyhow, so then I used kilohertz disperser and a lot of distortion. Um, of course, I stacked um, one of my favorite um, distortion plugin for respaces, the Thermal, um, which yeah added several different kind of distortions on top. Let's have a listen. of EQing, just a dip here at 250 hertz, at this one, cut down a little bit the mids give the rest some boost. Valhalla Room. It 
gives this brightness in addition. That's already it and it sounds pretty dope, I think. Uh, yes, and this is just, this is just, ah yeah, I added also like um, a low pass filter which can follow the notes if you want. Let me quickly close this. Um, I I connected um, the macro to the filter curve um, that you can easily um, automate it or even map it to a MIDI controller. Uh, of course, you don't have to do that, but uh, I, I find it pretty convenient. And uh, this is um, a tool um, side-chained by... Um, so th these are the drums. And um, as you can see, I for each snare, I added um, a ghost MIDI note. And also for each bass drum, I added a ghost MIDI note. Uh, it's called sidechain snare drum, sidechain bass drum. And this feeds <clears throat> into, into this here. Um, this is for the snare. So whenever it hits this note, um, it gets stuck down in the volume can see here and if I if I turn it off you listen how the snare gets in the background when it's off it's not punchy it's just because it gets pushed away from the bass but now again and I've done the same with the bass drum um, but put that into a multi-effect container that it just uh, affects the low and ducks the low um, up to 230 kilohertz because that's mainly where this kick is um, like having its uh, most energy and I want to create free space uh, yes, and just a quick uh, clipper. So basically, that's it. I will provide everything to download um, on my Patreon channel. Quick and dirty. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye bye.